So I wanted to revisit why I couldn't get the spindle to go any slower than 2876 RPM. The reason I'm interested is drilling is an important feature to me. So I want to be able to put drill bits into the spindle and to make holes. You can use a spiral carbide bit, but they're kind of notorious for not wanting to be plunged aggressively into material. So I think drilling is just a more efficient operation for holes. Uh, so let's see if we can try to get this spindle to rotate a little slower. So if we go to the configuration control and then out to the spindle tab, I just wanted to confirm that my minimum wasn't set too high. And so here it's set to 5 RPM on the minimum and 24,000 on the upper end. So that shouldn't be the limiting factor. So then if we go to the plug-in configuration for the PMDX, and go to its spindle tab, we see that there's this parameter for minimum pulse width modulation duty cycle. And I have that set to 10%. So I needed a reminder to what this actually meant. So I went out to the release notes uh, for the plugin. And if we scroll down to this section on limitations, they have a nice reminder here that the PMDX uh, is using a 10-bit resolution. So it's taking that range from 5 to 24,000 RPM and breaking it into uh, 1,024 discrete steps. And here they're just calculating what the duty cycle should be. So out in a spreadsheet, I did that same calculation. And so around 3,000 RPM should be about 12.5%. So we're a little bit less than that. So it looks like uh, this parameter is what's limiting our, our low end speed. So. And I think I'm going to move this down to 4%, and that should get us somewhere around 1,000 RPM as the floor. And uh, let's try it out. Uh, I think in the real world, this, the limitation is still going to be how much torque is available at this speed, but hopefully it's enough to, to drill some holes. Um, and uh, I guess we'll see how good this uh, VFD feature is of uh, the vector motor control, if it can deliver low, you know, torque at these low speeds. So let's uh, try this out and see what happens. As we saw when we requested 500 RPM within uh, Mach 4 here, and we had the set to 4, we were getting 1400 RPM. So I'm going to turn this down all the way to zero and just see how low we can go. So here are the results. Uh, I went ahead and took measurements again all the way to 24,000 RPM just to make sure that nothing uh, changed unexpectedly. And it looks pretty good. Uh, as you can see, the blue line here has been pulled down considerably in the lower RPMs. So uh, here we have when we're requesting 500 RPM, we're getting 1100. And when we request 1000, we're getting 1500. As you can see, anything below, say, 10,000 RPM, the percent delta between what we're asking and what we're getting is gets pretty large. So I think that's just something we'll have to live with and maybe adjust for in G-code. Um, so I think that's it. I think that's as good as I'm going to get it. So that's it for this one. Uh, when I start mounting my spoil board, the first thing I need to do is to drill some holes. So that'll be the first test of how much torque is available at these lower speeds. So hopefully it's enough. All right. Thanks for watching.